uh, at Advanced uh, Orthopedic Hospital. We have uh, innovated a retrograde depth watch for ACL femoral tunnel measurement. Uh, this includes the two instruments mainly which we use. One is beat pin, that is a mark beat pin, you can see the mark here. And another one is measuring diet. So this is a we try first in the model. So this is the beat pin, you insert the beat pin till it uh, fixes at the lat uh, medial end of the lateral femoral condyle. Then you measure it from the outside, you fix the depth gauge measuring guide to the lateral cortex of the femur and then you see the tunnel length. As you can see in this, the tunnel length is 20. So if we don't know what is the length of the tunnel and you drill your, uh, you commit for your graft tunnel, then you might land into the tunnel bloat and tunnel complications, which uh, this is uh, again a nightmare for us. So to avoid this complication, what is the advantage of our guide is, if this comes to 20, we cannot come into the tunnel, we can come out, again reinsert, this is again reinserted, the bead pin is removed, again from another side you reinsert the bead pin, then you can see now the tunnel length is almost about 40, which is acceptable. Any, any tunnel which is less than 25, 30 mm is not acceptable. So this we got 40, then you can commit for your graft tunnel and going for drilling the ACL graft. So this was a case uh, which we had done, sorry for the uh, image, it is not very clear. So you can see the mark, we have inserted the pin till the mark. Then you make a small uh, stab incision at the beep pin side, measure the tunnel length which is around 42, then you can commit to the graft approach. So what is the advantage of femoral uh, retrograde depth gauge is, it is accurate tunnel measurement, it gives accurate tunnel measurement, you can change the side because you are not committed to the tunnel, you, you won't drill the graft tunnel. If you see that the tunnel is very small, and it is 20, less than 25, less than 30, you can change, remove the pin, again reinsert. And it is very easy to use and you can reuse any, any number of times. So uh, compared to the regular depth code which we use, uh, which is passed through our regular portals and uh, see that uh, the depth gauge hook is abutting the cortex, it sometimes doesn't happen. If you are not at exactly at the outer cortex, you might sometimes get you know errors in the measurement of the femoral tunnel. This is the anti-grade uh, depth gauge which I am talking. So in, in our retrograde depth gauge, it doesn't happen. Because you know the pin is exactly at the mark where you want it to be and you can measure it clearly the tunnel length. But if at all your regular depth gauge it goes still you know beyond the outer cortex or if it's somewhere averting in the you know in the tunnel somewhere or you go till the beyond the, your outer cortex you might get the difference in the tunnel length. So this is uh, way advantageous than the regular uh, depth gauge. Thank you.